Okay, next step, we're going to remove the intake plenum. So there's a couple hoses, a few bolts, we'll go through it. The throttle body is going to stay attached to the plenum. We'll do the harness, a few more 10 millimeters on this side. The whole plenum is going to come off. Let's do it. All these little wire harness holders, take your time, you know, get, get behind them, pry them out just right. You want to put them all back, you know, they're there for a reason. Okay, got those, those. This is the vent for the transmission. We'll just set that out of the way. PCV hose, we'll just set that back real quick. Pretty simple. I'd say the toughest bolt to get to in this spot is right behind here. It's eight millimeter. I kind of go right down through here. You don't have to take all the foam off. You can get to it. Get it in there, nice extension on it. Try that. Done. That one's up. The next one. on the bracket all right okay so we moved around the other side so you can get a better view there's two 10 millimeters this holds the bracket for the plenum here I take these out you know I like to do a little bit more work instead of struggle or fight with something just you know just spend a little extra time there's one there's two Two nuts back on this side. Close there. All right, so I got the two there, the ones in the front. Uh, I'm gonna stand these up and just give them a little turn and they'll stay kind of out of the way on the flange, okay? On this side here, there, the wire harness is on the plenum here. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I'm gonna unconnect this connector. I gotta pull the red tab back, then push it, and you pull. And that'll come undone. Next, I'm just gonna put, pry this off of the holder there, so that's out of the way. Looks good. I'll do these two tens here as well. Pretty much gonna take the whole bracket off. The only thing that's holding us in now is these two studs come through the bracket. Now you can use the reverse Torx and put them on there and pull those out. But I think you can lift it up, rock it this way, and it should come out. Let's see if we can do that. See, no extra work. Came right out. Okay, plenum's out of the way. Let's get this foam. I'm just gonna set it right here. Now let's look look at the harness carefully. You know, let's take a look at what we're gonna need to move so we can get the lower intake manifold out. All right. These safety locks for the fuel injectors, you pry up, you can use your finger, but it kind of hurts. 
So again, how that works, this was down like this. I guess it needs to be plugged in first. Ooh, this was down, you push this up, and then you're pushing here, and it'll come out. All right, so let's keep these out of the way. Move right along. Do that six times, one for each fuel injector. One side. I think this is a good time to remove these PCV hoses. We're going to go through. We're going to go through how we're going to change those later. But for now, I'm just going to take them out of the vehicle. So this is our one connector here. It's our vent for our transmission. We're going to keep that good and high. This one just pulls off. All right. We'll show these in a little while. The other three. Okay, over to the other side. Just move some of this out of the way here. Got that one there. Got that one. And got that one. Okay, now the whole lower intake manifold is uh, eight millimeters. So let's go around. is good. All right, Dan, will you do me a favor? And we want to loosen the fuel cap. Okay. If there's any vapors in the fuel tank and it's pressurized, loosen the fuel tank, we'll let the pressure off. It's not going to release all the pressure in the line because that's after the regulator, um, but it, it'll help as it sits here with it open is when it'll continue to leak if you don't release the fuel cap. All right, so now what we're going to do here, we're going to get a rag, we're going to put it all around here, and we're going to remove the fuel line going to the fuel injector rails. But the first thing is a clip. Okay, so fuel lines coming in to the fuel rails. First is the clip, the safety clip. We're going to take it off, grab around the outside. You grab around the outside a little bit here, and it'll pull right out of the middle. Save it, we're going to need it. All right, now on the bottom is the white clip. Roll around to it, you push it from the bottom. Push it in, and then push from the bottom, and that's going to release it. And slowly, with your rags there, you'll see just a little bit of fuel come out there. Not much, just a little bit. All right, the rest is going to dry pretty quickly. Clip there. All right, now let's see. Uh, move whatever we got in the way so we can pull this 
lower intake up. Looks like I got one more in the back. Okay, so just figure out what's going to go with you, what's not. Got one gray harness piece right here. And we're going to leave this. There's one more attached to it. Reach down there and it's just attached to the lower, so just pull it up. That's good. Just set that right here. It's out. Keep it tipped up because it's going to be full of fuel here. All right. Pretty simple.